Can somebody pick up that phone that's ringing? Because I f***ing called it! Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome to 2015's Halloween special of Costume Quest 2. Sequel to the game I played back... Three years? Four years ago? God, it's been a long time. <laughs> but yes, I thought it was due time for me to get back to this series. Probably the best game you can ever play on Halloween. And that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys. In conjunction to Fallout New Vegas, of course. So, without further ado, let's begin. And we begin by having to do the scariest thing ever. Hard Drive Maintenance! Oh, the whore. And just for the last game left off, if you did the DLC, that is, we, well, I guess you could say we were thinking with portals. So we got options, we got exit game, which is weird because you can just hit the home button on whatever console you have, unless I guess you're playing with the PC version, you could, this would probably be what you have to use. Or you could just, like, back out, whatever. We got some grubbins and monsters back there playing with portals as well. But for now, why don't we enter this very peculiar, mysterious portal? It's got spooky ghost faces flying around it, so it's obvious that this thing is safe. And of course, I got to blur that top thing out to avoid spoilers for what's to come in the game. Alright, but for now, it's time to start our new adventure of Halloween 2015. What if this portal sends us to a crazy monster world like last time? Do you have a better idea? No, I guess I'm just worried about mom and dad. We've been gone for a while. Is that the portal home? Mm, I don't see any properties that would indicate its destination. I'm sure it's fine, Everett. Hop in! Me? I'm not going first. There could be a level 20 cobalt in there or something. Not it. I need to collect more impractical data by observing you guys entering first. Yeah, and I'm her research assistant. After you then, Reynolds. I've hauled way too much glory from you already, sis. You should go first. But you're an eyeball. You'd be able to see the monsters better. You send your own brother into a strange portal by himself. You're the monster. If only one of us is going to survive, Mom and Dad would want it to be me. Why, you little... Guys, stop fighting. The only statistically fair way to decide this is to flip a coin. Fine. Fine. Okay, loser goes first. Call it in the air. Heads! Tails! I mean tails! No, I ha already had tails. Ren, you idiot! Tails almost always wins a coin toss. Lay it on us, Everett. Who's going in first? Yeah, don't keep us in suspense. And then Ever just shoves both of them into the portal at the same time. Alright, so, time to select who we want to play as. Now, to be honest, we actually get full control of these two throughout the entire story. It's just, who, who do you want to pick to just be the main person you play as? And, well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Reynold did have the limelight in Costume Quest 1. He was pretty much the character I played as throughout the entirety of, well, the first game's story. And, of course, I played as Ren through the DLC. I don't think it's only fair that Ren gets to her time in the light for the main story of Custom Quest 2, and if DLC ever comes out for this, then I'll switch back to Reynold. So that seems fair, and I love the fact that when, whoever you're choosing, they say, No, please, for the love of God, select like the other one. But, anyways, Ren, you are going to be the hero of this story. Well, kind of. Aw, oh, man! Congratulations!
Trick or treat! Hey guys! We're home! I had a good feeling about that portal. Something feels... off though. It wasn't Halloween when we left. Well, that actually makes total sense. It does? These portals are likely wormholes through space-time. We probably just experienced a little time dilation. Yeah, Everett, duh. So, we're time travelers? Sort of. We did some quantum stuff. Some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. And yes, I did just make a Doctor Who reference. All you fans out there of that are welcome. Hey, isn't that Dr. White? Why is he so fidgety? Eh, yeah, don't look inconspicuous at all. That dentist always gave me the creeps. Who cares about him? Let's go to my house and sort out our candy. Good idea. I need to unload all my licorice on you guys. We should check in with Mom and Dad first, though. We'll meet you guys there in a few minutes. Okay, see you soon. Come on, Lucy. Last one, there's a rotten egg. After all, we got the battle stamp. It makes sense! <sighs> it's so nice to be back in Auburn Pines. Somewhat looks a little bit different, like... Wasn't this our house when the game started and the other one? You look very familiar. I wonder if we'll ever run into a skeleton as peculiar as that one back in Costume Quest 1. Maybe, maybe not. But for now, let's go talk to Mom and Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey there, Ren. Are you excited for the Halloween block party? Halloween block party? Sounds awesome! Should be. I guess we'll see over there in a bit. We're just waiting for Miss P Putter Pam. Wow, that's probably the worst name ever. She needs help setting up her, her pie table. Hey, how about Mom? Hey, kids. I was wondering where you guys were. Hi, Mom. We're just checking in. How responsible of you. How long have we been playing again? Who knows? I just got up from a nap. Don't stray too far, kids. The Halloween block party is going to start soon. So, did we travel forward in time or back in time? Because if we traveled forward in time, wouldn't our parents be freaking out the fact that our ch their children have been gone for over a year? And if we traveled back in time, wouldn't they be a little peculiar to the fact that we're wearing completely different costumes than when we started out? Eh, who knows. Everyone seems super su excited about this Halloween block party. We'll have to... S and that seems to be where it's going to be held. I'm Lincoln, okay? Not Amish. If you want to test a kid's character, give him a candy pail. That's actually kind of truthful and also kind of terrifying at the same time. Hey kids, you can't come through here just yet. They're still setting up for the Halloween block party. Uh, but we want to help! I mean, raid on the candy! I mean, help! Oh, fine. Oh, hey, look, it's this jerk in a hat that terrorized us at the beginning of Costume Quest 1. Let's see what he has to say. This anti-bullying movement is really cramping my style. I gotta find a new shtick. Now here's a new shtick. Revenge! Don't make me come out of retirement. Can't wait to get rid of this insufferable holiday. Hey, Dr. White, what are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Do I look like I want to be interrupted by an eyeball? Why don't you go brush your teeth? I can smell the sugar in your breath. Yeah, sounds like fun. We'll think about it. Man, what's crawled up Dr. White's rump? He always totally gave me the creeps. Now he totally gives me the creeps. Got a cowboy over here. Ever and Lucy said you'd be moseying. Hold on, wait. Ever and Lucy said you'd be moseying on up here? But what do you find out that big weirder over there on their lawn? Stranger danger. I'm pretty sure I just insulted everyone from the south. I am completely and 100% sorry. And wow, look at that traffic pile up. You know, by the time this party is over, I'm going to hate to be the person who is stuck with these three cars at the beginning because they are never going to be leaving. This is a very cool looking Halloween decoration. Very lifelike. Out of my way, brats. Hey! Watch it! There you are. You're late. We said we'd meet over by the alley. 
What are you doing over here? You're a time wizard. You have no excuse for being tardy. Anyways, let's settle down to business. Are you ready to pay me your debts? At last, now I'll take what's mine. I love that little sneaking prance he does, it's amazing. Did you see that? Um, I'm standing right here. Also, I'm a giant ass eyeball. What do you think? <laughs> I have it. It's mine. With this talisman, I have unlocked the monster gate. The Repugans are free. You know, I kind of would like to have a plush that looks like that. And now I can use it to get rid of the world of candy and Halloween. A dental hygiene utopia is within my grasp. You know, that's always bothered me. Why is it that during almost every Halloween thing, dentists are always portrayed as, you know, the bad guy? I mean, with a holiday like Halloween and kids get eating all that candy and getting all that cavities and stuff, wouldn't you think they'd encourage it because then... They'd be drumming up so much business, I don't know. If anyone's a dentist who actually watches my videos, put it in the chat of what you think, or chat, uh, sorry, comments, I've been watching too many streams, of if you think that's a dumb idea and dumb stereotype or not. What's happening? Ren, Ronald, this way, quickly! Looks like a balding Bruce Campbell. Why can't I ever land on my feet? That was crazy. What the heck just happened? You just travel through the future, kids! Ren? Reynold? It's so good to see you again! Do we know you? Don't you recognize us? It's Everett and Lucy! And guess what, guys? We're married now! What? I knew it! I knew you had the hots for her, Everett! Guilty as charged. <laughs> I wish we had more time to catch up, but we need help with something urgent. Oh yeah, we need to hurry. We don't have much time. We need to get another time hole open, but you guys need costumes for this. Run out to the shed in the backyard. We got a couple stash there that you can borrow. And be very careful not to be seen by any... thing. What do we need costumes for? Hurry, right, they know we're here. We'll tell you more when we get back with the costumes. Well, I've had this dream before. A dream more like a nightmare. Who decorates the inside of the house with... Okay, actually, that's a dumb question. I actually do decorate the, my house with pumpkins during Halloween. But only the small ones. What are you doing? I'm opening another time hole, but you need those costumes. Hurry up, guys. All right, all right, don't be so demanding. Let's just head out and oh my god, we're in a dystopia. And it looks like a drone that was made by the Jokers flying around back there. Hopefully that thing doesn't see us, because... Yeah, we're kind of defenseless. Also... Huh, it was just a graphical glitch. For a second, I thought there was candy shining back there, which would have been weird, because there's a, this is a dystopia without candy. Whatever. Still love that the chests are giant coffins. It still fits in the theme of Halloween. Aw, man. Not this stupid candy corn costume again. Uh-oh. Get 
waiting, huh? You kids shouldn't be outside with costumes on. You know the law. What law? We're from... out of town. No candy, no costumes. It's ridiculous, I know. But it's Overlord White's world now. That dental drone would have nabbed you if, you if I hadn't been here to stop it. Thanks, but we can handle ourselves. I believe that you believe that, but I wanted to see for myself. Let's see how good you are with the superhero costume. Love, love, love this new battle theme. It's so good. In each iteration of it, it just gets better and better. Okay, show me what you got. I'm trying to... I can't do a David Hayter voice or Keith or Sutherland voice to save my life. Alright, so... Combat tutorial, time to show off the new mechanics because they changed a lot about the combat in this game. So for now, let's try out our first attack of the superhero costume, the flying fist attack. Also, is that her cape flowing behind her or is that like a giant sword? It's... Okay. Not bad, but your timing could be better. Try hitting the attack button again with the moment of impact. You will see the indicator above my head. So yeah, bit of a little Paper Mario-esque, we hit it at the right time, and we get a damage bonus. However, since this is a tutorial, he, of course, does not take any damage. Incredible timing. But I see. But see if you can do it again. Ah, eh, only got a noise this time. Yes, you're getting it. Once more so I can be sure it wasn't luck. Damn it, almost got an amazing. You are as good as you say. You have a furious attack, that is clear. But how strong is your defense? Try the same technique, but now time the point of impact during my attack. If you're good enough, you can weaken my attacks. Ready yourself. And there we go. Just like Paper Mario as well, hit the button at the right time, and we take reduced damage. Okay, done. You defeated my attack. Once more. Second verse theme is the first. Yes, you are taking reduced damage. One more time. Even though this is a tutorial, I'm taking no damage even if I was hit. Great block. I thought I had you. Okay, you convinced me that you can fend yourself. Just one more thing. As you land attacks on your enemy or take damage, your special meter will fill up. When you filled it up all the way, your special ability will unlock. It looks like you're really close to unlocking yours. Let me help you along. Haha, <laughs> I thought you didn't... had me when I had the prompt up. Haha, <laughs> there you go. Now it's full. Give it a try. Alright, so let's test out the superhero's super ability, Sweet Justice! Was that a thing full of candy, or was that like giant pumpkins inside that bus? I deserve that. Alright, that's all I have to teach you right now. God, I love this guy. He is so... He's pretty much supposed to be like Snake in this, like, dystopia. But, we got our costumes. Strange that the candy corn was not shown in the battle. Maybe the candy corn is just completely useless, and just, if you're wearing it, it throws it outside the battle, like what Costume Quest 1 did? I don't know. Good, you found your costumes. That also brings up a point. We could have not had to deal with that drone at all had we just put our costumes on inside and out of the public's eye. I've got that time hole open to the past. You can enter when you're ready. What are we supposed to do there? You need to find a family of witches guarding a monster gate. I don't know where they are exactly. I'm sending you just before Dr. White went back. I could send you back further and give you a day or two, but nah, this seems like the right choice. You have to find him before he does. Alright. Uh-oh. Looks like Everett's got his hands full. Did you know you have a Crestwalker living in your backyard? He told us that candy was illegal. Halloween is illegal. No candy or costumes. Once Dr. White has opened the monster gate, he brainwashed him into helping him obliterate all of it. That's depressing. Am I the one who thinks ever, if this game ever did have voice acting, they get Dave Filoni to voice him? I don't know. That's just me. Alright, time to take a trip back to the past.
And no, we're not playing shitty games that suck ass. Where are we? I don't know, but these time holes are messing with my guts, I think. Well, I guess we better start looking for those witches. But, you know what? I think we might do that in the next video. And, hey, who knows? Those look oddly witch-like figures, so... Maybe our journey's done already. Well, of course not. I mean, knowing my luck, those are... Gonna try and kick our ass, and we'll have to get dirty. But for now... We're gonna end things off. So, next time on Costume Quest 2, we're gonna head over and see what these two things over here are. Maybe they're witches, maybe they're not. But you'll have to just tune in next time. Later!